Hey guys, welcome back to another Peaceful Challenge episode. Today we have to pay off a bet. We have to build a giant statue for Helga. The last episode we were betting if we could find a stronghold just by digging. Unfortunately it didn't work out, so I'm gonna build a statue for Helga. Later in the episode we're also gonna try to find a stronghold again, just with cheaty tools this time. So first we have to find a good location for the statue. I was thinking we could maybe build something like the Colossus of Rhodes. So build a giant statue somewhere in the harbor. Unfortunately, our island is completely surrounded by deep oceans, so there's steep cliffs everywhere. I wanted to put the statue on a pedestal, but if there's like a 30 block high pillar somewhere in the water, it would also look odd. So there's this peninsula over there. We have some sugarcane, villager house, and a bit of farmland. So can we, yeah, let's get rid of that and build Helga's statue there. Maybe also have a little pedestal, just two blocks higher than the surrounding terrain. I think this look, would look really nice. In order to design a statue, we're gonna use good old MC Edit Unified. Because Seth Bling is like eight years ago, made an MC Edit filter to convert a Minecraft skin directly into a player statue. I was also using it a couple years ago for my 3D printer, where I 3D printed my skin. I just adjusted Seth Bling's filter back then to work with concrete. Fortunately, I lost that edited filter and just gonna use the default one. Uh, somebody on Reddit updated it also a couple years ago and now it works with the new database and so on. So we just select an area here and then we go on filter, go to player statue. I think we have to just input the player name here. We should get Helga skin if we, we need to click filter. There we go. Still works. I'm quite sure I only did half though. Maybe the area selected wasn't quite right. Let's maybe try it over here again. Be nice if we get the, the full skin. Or the area wasn't large enough. Let's try it again. There we go. Complete Helga. And it should also work with other. Should work with any skin. So we can also try it out with your skin. Or mine. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Here's a mango. <laughs> okay, uh, the only problem is that it uses really old material, so it doesn't even have concrete yet. But I think it's fine. We might need to adjust it a little bit. So here, instead of the bricks, you could maybe use another brown block. Maybe not dirt. It looks a bit odd anyway, so let's maybe use brown wool instead. So I'm gonna convert some of the blocks to wool. So let's check it out in game. I updated the world to 1.16 as well. So we have the current block palette. Unfortunately, I think MC Edit Unified only works for 1.12. And then yeah, the whole file format change, unfortunately, made it not compatible anymore. I think the MC Edit team is actually working on a yeah, new version called Emulet, but that's been in development also for a couple of years. So hopefully we'll see that at some point as well. Right, so we have the two Helgas, and the other half here also reappeared. It was probably just the rendering issue in MC Edit. And I think the change to brown wool and dark oak planks is definitely better. Yeah, better than having bricks and dirt for here. Right, I also made a material list already, so you can check that out. I think wool is gonna be a problem. We have a very small white wool farm, it's like this one sheep that gets sheared by the Spencer. Um, but we need a lot of colored wool as well. Either we try to get cocoa beans and all the colors and see how much wool we have, or we make a little sheep farm. Yeah, let's actually check it out, survival, how much we have. And here we have our awesome wool farm. One sheep in front of a dispenser. I think as soon as the dirt or grass block gets updated there, server should detect it and activates the dispenser of shears inside. And there's a hopper below, a hopper minecart, and oh! That's a lot of white wool for such a small farm! I think we can actually use it. So I'm just gonna color the white wool here. Even if we would build now a new sheep farm for all the 16 colors, it would take a while until we get the materials and I really wanna finish this. So we actually have to head out. I need a jungle log so I can grow some more cocoa beans for the brown dye. Then I need to go to the jungle anyway because we don't have any jungle saplings here at all. So we couldn't even use the tree farm right now to get more. 
And you also need 130, I think it was, 123 clay. So something we don't have yet. I went all the way over where Helga found the first three pandas, because that's the closest jungle that I know at the moment. So we have 77 locks and five saplings. I hope that's enough. Unless we're super unlucky, those should be enough to start up the yeah, sapling production in a tree farm as well. Hey, okay, here it goes. Let's hope we're getting some saplings back. Oh. Yeah, we need a lot more bone meal for the jungle trees, because they, they can't grow 12 high. It's downside of this tree farm. That's the reason why we eventually also build another one. It works with the tall jungle trees. But so far... Three saplings. Could be a bit more. Don't tell me we're running out here. Are we breaking enough leaves? That's it. Then maybe go in here? Really? We're that unlucky? Last sapling? Oh, come on. Can't do that to me. Wow. Yeah, at least we have some locks now, but we have to get more saplings. Oh, this was so unlucky. Maybe we should get like 1.2 saplings back per tree. Oh, that hurts. I made a little setup for the cocoa beans. I hope the update order is right. This lets me farm them. Okay, that's what I thought. Maybe if you remove the node block here and place a piston, it will work. The idea is, is that the dispensers fire for the piston, but still in the same tick. Um, so you have to jump in there to place it. Place the node block again. <laughs> okay, now we got the piston. Caught him in a hole. Uh, okay. Let's navigate around and try this again now with the block event delay. Yeah, okay, this works. So now we can grow the cocoa beans. I think we need 150 or so. Shouldn't take long. Okay. Brown will check. Totally forgot about the clay, but we need to head out anyway to get some snow blocks so we can. Maybe make a snow golem here and farm more. And I just noticed we need gray wool and light gray wool, which which hurts. <laughs> we need gray dye and light gray dye. I think the only way to get the gray dye at least is um, combine the ink sacks with the white dye. So that's things. We actually have to go squid hunting, I guess. I don't think spending a lot of time making a full blown uh, squid farm. Would be worth it for now, so we're just gonna try to get like 40 ink sacks. Ah, oh, that hurts. <laughs> I think for the light gray, we could also uh, get some flowers, but I'm out squid hunting anyway. Might as well get that. And there's already the first one. Okay, got four squid ink, 36 to go. It's actually not so bad. Sometimes the dolphins help me out to swim faster, so it shouldn't take that long. Just get 40 ink sacks. Let's see. It's definitely a different experience to Psycraft, where we have all the materials on our main storage. Gotta work for it now. Oh, that's the next one. Perfect. Alright, we got 61 ink sacks. So it's kind of nice, actually, that the squid farm has a purpose again, while in normal gameplay, so with hostile mobs, usually I would just make a wizard rose farm and use it for everything. There's really no point making a squid farm and a wizard rose farm, unless you need some book and quill, but... Usually that's that's not often the case. Alright, so eventually we also make a squid farm here in a peaceful challenge. Okay, grey wool, light grey wool, check and check. Okay, next goal is snow. Good that I remember there was an extreme hills next to the bamboo farm. But this should definitely be enough for the panist to make a snow golem at the base. I think the ocean biome is actually cold enough so they would form snow layers. Alright, now I'll just search for some... Let's actually go over to the swamp area for clay. That would be the best. Let's go to the cat farm. So we got the two stacks of clay. Now let's see if this works here in the deep ocean biome. I'm not quite sure if the snow golems do form the snow layers. I'm quite sure. Let's push them in. Come on. Uh, okay, that's gonna be funny. 
Good that I brought some blocks. Okay. There he goes. And he makes the snow layers. Okay, now we just need to push him over a little bit. So he makes the snow layers block lower. Makes it a bit more convenient to farm. There we go. He also needs normal block instead. And now we can farm snow layers. Yeah, we also need those. <laughs> and in case I use a non selected shovel, also the snowballs for the snow blocks. All right, we got snow blocks and snow layers. I will need those later as well. And as I saw them done running around, there's actually cyan wool. You can get cyan dye by combining blue and green dye. In order to get the green dye, you need to smell cactus. That's something we also don't have. No! So I need to go to a desert biome. We, we actually brought over one cactus here, but I need a stack. The panda farm was the nearest desert I knew, but I actually doubt there's even a stack of cactus here. This is all so tedious. Wow. Yeah, we need farms for everything now. Have you ever been so desperate that you stole cactus out of the flower pots in the village? It's definitely first for me. They hit rock bottom. Wow, jackpot! Look at all the cactus. That's actually awesome here. So somehow the iron golems managed to entity cram themselves. They all wandered into this hole here. Hmm, must have happened while we AFK'd at the panda farm and we got spawned here. Interesting. I actually somehow managed to get a stack of cactus, getting all the flower pots and chests and decided to just place him down for now and come back in an hour. Just gonna go for a bike ride. That's exactly what I wanted to see. All the cactus has grown. Bike ride was also awesome. There's really nothing better than a sunny early autumn afternoon. It's warm enough, but not quite as hot as summer. That's awesome. All right, let's mine the cactus and make the rest of the wool. All right, we finally got everything except the end stone. I think I'm just gonna use some sandstone there and nether brick. So I was on the nether, I was mining some netherrack. So we definitely have enough. Yep, I think there's a nice place for the statue. So I'll remove the house and the farm plot there. I think I'm gonna use some andesite for the pedestal. Okay, back from the time lapse, I think it turned out really nice. But we still have the snow layers left. So I want to have a nice unveiling effect when I show Helga the statue. And I thought maybe we could just place snow layers all around the statue and then have some piston set up at the bottom that would break them in a the chain. So just have a hop, uh, yeah, observer line running below, activating one piston after the other and then the snow layers will be broken. Okay, I also brought some dirt because at the other end of the pedestal, yeah, it reaches over the water here. So I'm just gonna fill this up. And then we also need to make a little bit of space below. So I basically want the pistons to have some air yeah, right here. And snow layers on top, but if I activate those, they would try to push up. And I'm pretty sure the snow layers will break. Maybe we should try that in creative first. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. 
Why do testing in Creative if you can spend more time in Materialist in Survival? So let's do it quickly here. Let's see what happens. Yep, just poofs. It's gone. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. I think this is nice. Placing the snow layers though is... This is gonna take a while. Look at that. I think, yeah. It's gonna take an hour or so. Oh my god. Of course we could also use Falling Sand, but... Uh, I think the snow layers are nicer because they're gone immediately and then I need to worry about picking it up again. So I go with the snow layers. So I got the ring of observers in. We can actually also try that out. See if this works. Let's follow it. Yep, that looks good. Okay, now the snow layers. It's finally done. That took a while. Let's quickly check the statistics. How many snow layers we placed down. Okay. Times used snow layers 15,612. It was actually more effort than building the statue, uh, but it's gonna be worth it. Right now, just need to wait for Helga to log on and unveil it. There's not much to say. There's a button, yeah. you can press it for the big reveal. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna okay. go there. Press the button. Yeah, this looks <laughs> a big. Okay, I'm gonna press big. the button. There we go. <laughs> Damn, what Half a fancy a reveal. Oh, yeah. wow. Looks really good. That really wow. looks good. <laughs> 32 meters high. Is it great? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Really nice. Thank you. This is Helga's right. village now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are moving, so you don't have to watch this every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I also like the, yeah. the podium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's my end this would be nice here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was so many snow layers to place. <laughs> yeah, and then it just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, but it was a off. cool reveal. Yeah, really cool. Yep. Worth it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> I had to show that last clip in third person in free play mode because I managed to not record once again. Right, hopefully it was the last time. That's also it for today. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.